Hey guys, Sean again from uh, SNR Reptiles. I haven't done a video in a little bit, so I figured I'd do a uh, quick collection update um, just to kind of let you guys know how everything's going and what I got going on. Um, I'll start off with the uh, the baby rack and the uh, juvenile rack. This first one here is a male normal that I bred out. This was a uh, out of that last clutch I got. I have a video up. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check that out as well. But that's my uh, a male normal. Um, I really like him. He has that really high black back. Kind of a cool patterning. Um, all four of the, the babies that I got out of this clutch all looked very different. Based off of coloring and then just morphs and stuff in general. Um, that's a normal male there. Really kind of pretty, pretty looking animal. Um, been a little tough for me to get them eating. Um... But I'm going to be picking up some uh, rat pups and stuff to kind of get that going a little bit as well. Um, but still an okay weight right now. I think it's about 70, 71, 72 grams. But, so that's a normal there, which is still actually currently for sale. Um, I have somebody checking it out. Um, but if you're interested, definitely let me know what's going on. And if that doesn't fall through, I'll let you guys know. Next one we got here is a uh, pastel mail. Um, actually from the same clutch. Um, this one here, Tyler Shagnon, a buddy of mine um, that I work with, is actually interested in. Um, again, I need to get him some rat pups, kind of get him back on food. Um, hasn't, hasn't really been eating as much as I'd like. Um, but I'm going to be picking that up. I'll do some feeding videos and stuff too, just to get him on there. But I really like this guy here. Kind of high yellows, a lot of blushing down the back. Um, just an overall good looking, good demonstration of a pastel. Next one we got over here is a uh, spider that actually again came from that same clutch. Um, this guy's a little nippy at times. but um, Spider that came from the same clutch, so I had a multi-sire clutch. It was a normal female. Bred to a uh, pastel and a spider male. Really kind of a cool looking spider as well. I've had a couple compliments on the way that he looks. Um, he's also currently actually for sale. Yeah, I'm not going to put any pricing or anything on the video because that will always change when they get bigger or if they're sold. Um, and there's always... Um, prices aren't always set in stone, let's just say that. So you can always, if you're interested in him, worst case, you send me a message. If it's not what I can do, then you know we can always work with you on stuff like that. This is also a male, if I didn't say it already. Um, been eating all right. You can see that he has that really strong head wobble. Um, doesn't affect the way that he eats, or the way that he acts really at all. It's just a head wobble, which is very common with a lot of spiders. Um, but overall, a really kind of cool high white on the sides. Kind of limited pattern for a spider. Um, it's kind of a really cool snake altogether. Um, then the last one out of that clutch was this one here, which is actually going to be one of my holdbacks. Um, this here is the only female that I got out of the clutch. So not great odds on that level. Um, but you can see a lot of those high pinks and a lot of high oranges. Um, if you compare it to my other normal... You can see that coloring wise is very, very different between the two. Um, this one here has a lot higher pinks and oranges and stuff to it. That's why I'm kind of holding her back. You can see it better in the lighting there. Um, but she's definitely going to be something I'm going to hold on to and see if there's anything special about her. Moving on, so my camera's dying, so I apologize if it dies. Um, down here is my banded hit albino male. He's about five or 600 grams, so he's getting about size ready for uh, breeding. Um, really kind of the cool patterning. I really like that banded aspect of him. Um, but hopefully, if I can get this guy a little bit bigger and then my female a little bit bigger, possibly have some 2013 albino. This here is a head albino female. Um, she's been really good. She's a little bit of a 
a little bit more aggressive, um, but eats really good, really good um, animal overall. Um, she definitely won't be ready by 2013, but 2014 she should be up to par. Um, then I can be producing two albino clutch a year.